So hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner here at Approved Auto and Plastow. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's the day for the uh, 95 rally wagon here. We got uh, got the plates on it. She's all registered, but uh, I don't have a sticker on it yet. Uh, the main reason we don't have a sticker on it is uh, if you can see it. It's a big. Uh, where is it? Right there, big cracky crack all the way down the windshield. So, uh, so I haven't uh, bothered to to bring it in for its checkup and its its sticker yet because of that. There's really you know no point. They're just going to probably turn it away and say come come get it when you when you get the windshield in it. Um, the check engine light popped back on. Maybe we'll get into uh, looking at that. But anyway, the uh, the glass guy is supposed to come here to put this windshield in uh, just after my lunch break. I figured I'd. Uh, in case I don't have a chance to come out and take a take a picture of it and show you guys what's going on with it, but uh, I'll I'll see if he'll let me set up my time lapse camera and we'll catch him on a on a time lapse replacing that windshield. Uh, hopefully he doesn't run into any rust issues on this car. I don't think he will, but you know you never know. You never know until you get in there. Got a you can see you can really see that crack in here now. Yeah, right there it runs all the way and. And down and, and down and down and kind of a kind of a weird crack because there doesn't seem to be any uh, any impact site so something must have flexed and uh, and caused that to happen so uh, we'll get it apart and hopefully it uh, keep this one out of the cabbage. He got that done pretty quick, didn't he? Huh? Sorry, he had this, and he had a van right next to it, and he, uh, I think he pounded those both of these windshields out in like what, 45 minutes or so. Boy, he pounded those things right out, huh? So anyway, I figure we should uh, take a second and see what this uh, check engine light's on for. I got uh, just my cheapy little scanner, um, just a cheap little Auto Link scanner I picked up. Uh, I use this as my after repair scanner. Uh, I also use this scanner to test readiness um, to see if a car is ready for a, a state inspection sticker. Because you can just press. Sorry, I don't need a copyright strike. Yeah, so I just press one button right here, the IM button, um, and that tells me if the car is ready. But uh, I know I have a check engine light on, so um, let's do a little quick. Uh, quick and dirty scan and see if this thing can talk to this thing and tell me what uh, what this lights on for let's let it do its thing here and basically what it's doing is trying all the communication protocols till it knows till it finds the one that this uh, this vehicle speaks ISO 9141-2 one code, let's uh, engine, 
Stored codes. It's probably going to make me pick Saab. Nope. Evap leak detected. Large leak. So, uh, Evap large leak. That, uh, that's the kind of code you get when, uh, when your evaporative emissions, that was like, uh, you fill your, you fill your tank with the, um, excuse me a second. You fill your tank with the gas cap open. That might have been what happened when the old lady was, uh, fueling up. She might have left the, uh, the car running or something. That sounds like something the old lady would do. Or, uh, not, not putting the gas cap on tight enough after. Everything looks good here. Uh, this car had never set that code before. This car did set some, uh, did set a code for the uh, purge or uh, charge air release valve, which would be the blow off valve. I think we uh, we actually found that on uh, on the video a couple weeks ago. So uh, what I'm going to do here is just really quick uh, back out of that previous menu erase. Yes, I'm sure I want to erase those codes. And erase done. And what I'll do is go to I am readiness to check the readiness flags. And uh, I'll let customers take this tool. It's just a cheap, easy to use tool. Uh, if a customer is trying to get their car to pass inspection and, and it's hard to do the drive cycle, I'll let them borrow this and I'll tell them to push that. You can see here we got uh, pending codes over here. This will set this. Uh, there's a little monitor that'll set when um, when it's got a pending code. That's a code not quite ready to be set. Uh, sometimes, you know, something can stick or a valve can stick. And basically what it does is uh, some cars need multiple drive cycles to set a code. And uh, if, it, if it fails on one of those, it'll set the pending. Uh, then it'll set DTC on this side. That's codes. And you see all these little uh, green check marks and, and red red X's. The red X's are tests that haven't been run yet and the green check marks are tests that it does, doesn't need to run. That's when it's checking all its sensors. So uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna let this thing run. We'll see if we can get this thing through for a sticker because um, that's basically what I gotta wait for before we can start doing all the custom work on this this vehicle. Uh, we actually had a Jeep in here earlier today with some really cool uh, Firestone off-road tires. And I uh, put one beside it and took a pick. I'll, uh, I'll splice that in now. Yeah, um, those are a little larger than I'm ever going to be able to fit on here. But that's basically the tread I want. And I uh, just want something nice to, to really tuck in there. You guys, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this... Uh, this Toyota minivan, Toyota Sienna or something, there's some pictures of it floating around the internet where they kind of did exactly what I want to do to the station wagon to this Toyota minivan. Really a really cool van looking. Um, let's see if I can if I can find a picture of that van. I'll, uh, I'll splice it in here and uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I want to get that thing to look like. Well anyways guys, I figured that's the first step in the old uh, the old Project Rally Wagon Carlson, or uh, what do we call it, Monte Carlo 950, 95, 950, Monte Carlo 950. So anyways guys, I gotta get home, put this video together, get cleaned up, and until next time, you guys keep it out of the cabbage.